If they'd ever had, if they'd ever had a Cheltenham preview night in the 1960s, I like to think that I would have been sitting here next to Anne Duchess of Westminster asking about Arkell, whilst a lot of pissed up <laughs> enthusiasts <laughs> heckled her about whether her horse was a back or a lay. And the reason I say that is because the man on my left, Rich Ritchie, genuinely believes that Duvan could be one of the all-time great horses. Let's put that into some sort of context. Well, just, just shut up for a minute and we'll figure it out. Forheen, Annie Power, Votor, Min, a litany of great horses. Is Duvan the best horse you and Susanna have owned? And if so, why? Oh, by far. And I think he's, he is the, he's the best athlete. Um, he does everything brilliantly. He's easy to train. He's easy to keep right. He's um, a wonderful jumper. He hurdles at his fences. He um, doesn't have a dramatic motion. Um, when he makes a mistake, he corrects himself. Listen, it's fingers crossed. For us, he's a very special horse. I would be absolutely gutted, given the year we've had, but given the year we've had, it's possible that something goes am amiss, either before or on the day. But for us, he's very special. We love him very much. And the, 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 one of the things about him I really like, in addition to his athletic ability, is he's a lovely horse. Hur Hurricane Fly was a, was a bastard. He bit everybody, he was mean, he was rotten, he was awful, great racehorse, but wasn't a nice horse. Duvan, everybody loves, he's approachable, he's a pet. He's a bit antsy in the ring these days, but after the race is over, he's just a lovely thing. And um, he's a, he, we're very privileged to own him, and let's hope everything goes well at Cheltenham. Just listen up for one sec, because we, we're talking about a horse who could be one of the greats. Is, is a great horse, but could be one of the all-timers. Given what's happened to your other horses this year, mm. how, much, how much more often are you on the phone to Willie asking him if Duvan's OK? Uh, not as, no, you, you can't be, because you know, we, we have lots of, of issues every year. And it's not just about, um, there's so many horses that you all have no idea that we've spent a lot of money for that aren't going to run this year, who we think are wonderful horses. And, you know, what I do with Willie is, just so everybody knows, is, and I know people say Willie's not a great communicator. I talk to Willie during the season, every three weeks, we go through the entire team. And then in the summer and the off months, we probably do it every, once, every four or five weeks. And I don't want to change that pattern because it's the way he's comfortable and the way he works. It's not like in the UK, when I, we've had a horse with Nicky Henderson, calls us every Sunday, tells us what's going on. Jamie Osborne would call us every Sunday and tell us what's going on. But, but with, with Willie, it's not the way he works. So I, I wouldn't, I, we're happy in our routine, I wouldn't disrupt it. Listen, we're very nervous, everything's crossed at night um, when we go to bed, but I think that the, you know, we're hoping Duvan gets there in the end, and if he does, he should win. What we need to know now is, is there, hang on, for goodness sake. What we've got to know now is who's going to finish second to Duvan and is there a bet in the race? Yeah. Where's the viable bet in the race? Noel Hayes, where's the viable bet if there, is a, if, if there is a bet? For me, this race, there's two winners. Hopefully Duvan wins and I genuinely believe racing fans and the racing public are winners to get to see him because he is an absolute beautiful horse. I don't need to have a bet in this race to enjoy it. I just want to see the horse hopefully do what he does best and if he does that, he'll be an impressive winner and enjoy the spectacle. I don't need a bet. Joe, Joe you may run Fox Norton. Are you, are you inclined to run Fox Norton here or go to the Ryanair? I don't honestly know. Um, we haven't had Fox Norton long enough to really make a decision. I think most likely he'll run here. Shush, shush. I think most likely he'll run here because, because you shouldn't be afraid of one horse, I don't. Um, I'd just say, Rich, um, you'd shit yourself if my old man run. <laughs> <laughs> because he doesn't ring at all unless this is a problem. <laughs> or, or he spent your money. <laughs> um, but I, I, the answer hasn't been made. But I, 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 just from this morning, I think we'll run here. Um, 
We've only run the horse twice. First time was two weeks after we bought him from Neil Maholland. He then overreached horribly and was stood in his box for six weeks. Forget the Newbury run. He was beaten by a machine in Altior. Um, I don't know what Mr. Potts is going to do with Size and John. Right. So that could, that could sort of determine it, to be honest. If they decide to run Size and John in the Ryanair rather than the Gold Cup, then, then it might. I don't know. It's a difficult one. Duvan, if he turns up, if he has a bit of luck, he won't get beat. Right. Let's, uh, let's hear what Paul Keeley's got to say about this. Paul, Paul, shh. Is, um, is it quite simple, just watch and enjoy? Or is there a bet to be had no, in the without market? No, come on. I, I understand There's when always Noel's a bet come, to be had. I understand when Noel coming, but it's bollocks, isn't it? Right? There's, there's 28 races at Cheltenham. You've got to have a bet in every single one of them. Of course you have. Yeah. 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 And if you, look, if you don't like betting odds on, I, I never, ever bet odds on. I, 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 I can't see the point in it. You know, I like, I like, I like to have a punt at a decent price. I, I, I can understand Fox Norton. He's the obvious second favourite. I think that he probably should run in the Ryanair. Yeah. I think he looked, I think he looked short of pace in the, in the race last year because it was good ground. I think he probably is a good ground horse, but at two miles... Yeah. I think it might be a bit sharp for Tell him. me something new. Tell me something different. Okay. Tell me something exciting. Okay, around 10 to 1, around 10 to 1, without a fav, Garde La Victoire. One of the clumsiest hook, one of the clumsiest... Don't fucking laugh, Listen. God's sake. <laughs> one of the clumsiest jumpers in training last year over, uh, over fences as a novice, but he's getting there. And like a lot of Phillips Hobbs horses that have done that, Munga Hosin couldn't jump to save his life to start with. Yeah. Um, What's up, boys? Couldn't jump to save his life to, to save his life to start with. And, and there've been several others. Menorah was terrible to start with. They get there in the end, and he's still a young horse, and he's improving. And I think you know, if Fox Norton doesn't run, I think Fox Norton will still finish second. But if he doesn't run, guard the victory are ten to one without. That's a great bet. That, that is the kind of information we need, ladies and gentlemen. That's the kind of information we want.